Hello friends, welcome to Trishteng Institute and in today's safe storage tutorial uh, video we will be discussing about how you can add a safe client node in your cluster means from where uh, you can run various safe related uh, administration related commands or let's say you want to check the status or version of your cluster how you can uh, do that that we will see in today's uh, demo. So let's log into my cluster. As you can see, I have already logged into one of my uh, monitor nodes. So you can see here, say if I find uh, uh, versions. So I am using Quincy, that is a community edition I am using. And uh, for the OS, I am using Fedora 37. You can see here. Uh, server edition you can do it from uh, red hat also and red hat safe storage also it is same procedure and if you see here right safe org uh, host ls if you do you can see i have three nodes one two and three so let's say i want to run this similar safe command from host three so i'll go to safe three login there and as you see if i do save i finish it is not there so for running the safe commands you need to install the package called uh, chef common so let it install so one thing you need to remember uh, the safe common package version should be the same version whatever is your cluster version so as you saw right i have quincy and so whatever version it will be showing let's say uh, it's showing 17.5.1 so your safe common version also should be 17.5.1 if you are having older version eventually you will be locked out to run the safe related command so let's say rpm query if i do and if i do safe common you'll see i have installed 17.2.1 5 so my safe cluster also should be same so now if i do safe hyphen s at least you can see safe command is there but still i am not able to run the or run any operations why because to run or connect to your cluster you need to have two things one is your safe configuration file which will tell you what is your uh, monitor ip and port details and second thing you need to have your the key ring to connect or authenticate to your cluster so for doing that what i'll do I'll go to my etc safe directory here you should have those two files I'll copy those two from my another working node let's say safe one etc star dot keyring I'll put it here uh, so oh sorry uh, etc chef uh, you can see it is copying keyring file similarly i'll do scp root at the rate chef1 etc chef uh, safe.com to here so these two files are required so your admin keyring if you are having admin keyring then you can do any admin uh, sort of activities and this safe con so let's quickly check that configuration file con uh, content you can see uh, it has a cluster id and monitor host details so once you copy that now if i run uh, f-s you should see i have the command output coming so as i was telling you previously that uh, uh, your cluster version and the common client version should be same so let's check that also you can see 17.2.6 and similarly save version 17.2.5 so it should be same now uh, if you don't want to run it from uh, root user you may have separate user let's say in my case uh, i have trich take so I want to run the command from there so let's switch to trich take once and let's try to uh, sorry chef3 I'll try to run it from uh, trich take user so this uh, chef related commands if you see safe if, if I do you'll see that permission denied and all those things so for doing that uh, what I'll do I'll just change the permission ch own hyphen r which uh, take to etc chef directory now 
if I go back to Trich Tech user and if I do safe hyphen s, I should be able to run the safe related commands. And one more thing you need to keep in mind this safe command package doesn't only give you the safe command, also other commands, let's say uh, you have RGW. So to manage that Rados Gateway admin, these commands also you get it from uh, safe common package. Also, if you are mounting any RBD images, that also comes with this same package. So hope uh, you like this. You understand how you can set up one of your safe uh, client node in your cluster to run various safe related commands. And if you really like it, uh, please subscribe. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe my channel. Also, uh, as I was telling you, if you like it, please uh, like the video. If you don't like also, not a problem. Please put your comments in the comment section so that I can understand what I missed or what I should have done better so that I can incorporate those in my upcoming next videos. So thank you. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in our next video.